Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're going to be installing an amp and sub in this 2003 Toyota Sequoia. Now, in this video, we're going to be showing you how to install this amp and sub to an existing aftermarket radio. Let's get started. Here at the bench, the parts that we're using in today's install is what this customer has brought us. Um, it's a sealed 12 inch uh, massive audio subwoofer, um, and we're pairing it with this budget friendly power acoustic amplifier. Now, this amp does require an 8 gauge amplifier wiring kit, so we have this new Concepts 8 gauge CCA kit. It comes with power ground, RCA's remote turn on wire, fuse and fuse holder, speaker wire, everything that you'll need for your install. Now, we can link uh, recommended sub and amp combo and wiring down in the description of the video in case you want to pick one up for yourself. Now, if you are running the factory audio system, you'll need some sort of way to provide signal to your power acoustic or your amplifier of your choosing, and you may need some sort of line out converter for your install if, again, you're just running the factory radio since our radio and the vehicle is already aftermarket, it will have a subwoofer output for our signal so we don't have to worry about anything like that in this video today. So the first thing we need to do is jump underneath the hood and start planning our route from the battery area with our power wire through an inline fuse through the firewall into the cabin of the vehicle. All right, up underneath the hood, our battery is on the driver's side here up in the front corner. Here's our positive post where we're gonna connect our power wire to our battery. Now, we'll need an inline fuse, and we like to build a little fuse mount using the uh, battery bracket here. Makes it nice and easy and clean. And then we're gonna use the factory grommet over here, kinda tucked in the corner, to pass our eight gauge power wire into the cabin. Right, so what we've done here is our grommet had a little nipple there at the top. We just cut that nipple off and it exposed a nice place to pass our little fish through, our notorious middle hanger that we use here on the channel. And uh, we can fill it on the other side where it passes on through. It makes it nice and easy that uh, Toyota has made it possible for us to pass extra wire through than from factory. So let's go underneath the steering column to show you where it passes through. Now what we've done to prep our wire is we went ahead and taped our 8 gauge to it and we lube that up with some soap and water. So as we pull that on through, it'll easily pass through that factory rubber grommet into the cabin. Up underneath the steering column, here it is, just as easy as that. So we're going to pull it from the inside and pull our wire into the cabin. So we got our power wire run here. Now we pulled up the carpet and we're gonna come out just the vent up underneath the seat here. But we got our power wire all laid as, as we need. We got our ground here as well. Now there is a good threaded ground here that we're actually gonna take this bracket off, clean it with paint and use this as a good grounding location. You can go into the body as well or find another ground. Um, or just uh, make sure you're clean of paint so it doesn't have any resistance on your ground. So let's go ahead and feed this through too as well. All right, back over here at the bench, we went ahead and finished hooking up our amplifier. We built a little amp mount out of ABS plastic. And it's going to bite into the carpet too to hold it in place. The vents will vent over it, so it's a good location up underneath the driver's seat for this size of amplifier. We went ahead and hooked up our remote turn on wire and just taped it every couple of inches 
um, that'll go with the RCs up to the center console to the radio there in the dash. And we have our uh, subwoofer wire. Also put some ferrules on there so it's nice and good to go. This itself will run all the way to the back to the cargo area. Now with our RCAs hooked in at this point, let's go ahead and go get our amplifier installed and start running the rest of our cables. All right, so we started prepping our amplifier here. We've got the mount ABS plastic up underneath it. So we're running all our cables up underneath that vent. And before we slide it into place and get it mounted down, we're gonna go ahead and set our gains. But before we do that, we gotta hook our RCAs up and a remote turn on wire up to the aftermarket radio up there in the dash. So let's go ahead and pull the radio and start feeding those RCAs and remote turn on wire to that dash cavity location. Now for our RCAs and remote turn on wire, while the seat was up and the carpet was up, we just fed it up underneath the carpet, kind of along the transmission tunnel and we came out there. So next let's go ahead and pull our radio. All right, so we got our amplifier hooked up. We got the power and ground connected to the terminals of the amp. So we went ahead and connected it to that power post here on our battery. So we are all done there. We created a nice fuse mount, fuse holder here. It just sandwiches up underneath the battery mount bracket and everything split loomed all the way back to where it passes through the firewall. So we're done underneath the hood here. Let's finish up underneath the seat. All right, so we went ahead and got our amplifier all seated it's nice and mounted not going anywhere vent will vent over the amp so no problems there fits back up underneath there we got everything put back together here and we ran our sub wire to the sub that's in the trunk so that's about it for this install if you have any questions on what we did here post a comment below uh, if you want to see how we installed a radio on this model year sequoia go ahead and check the video we'll have a link in the description as well as a card up above be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe to post great content on the channel all the time. We'll see you in the next video.